space. Final frontier. Still creating a mess. Right, fletchings on medieval arrows. Um, the majority of the arrows depicted in old fashioned old medieval paintings are the well known triangular shape, like the red, red ones we've made during this DVD, or these ones. This is your basic, typical livery cut EWBSD WS arrow with goose fletchings and a horn hang pit. Glue them on there and do the full whipping through the feathers. This is how we go about it. You want just enough space between the knock and the feathers so you can put your fingers on there. You don't need loads of space. You don't want to put the feather too much too too high up the shaft because aerodynamic wise you're actually shortening the shaft. with a permanent marker. Make some marks on your fletching clamps so you know for a certain type of arrow the fletchings will always be in the same spot. Set into position, gently squeeze, then leave for a couple of minutes. Cut to size. Put on the front bit. Very, very extremely similar to what we've done before. In this case, I'm using silk, strong, thin. If you use a thread that's way too thick to go in between the fletchings, you'll end up that the fletchings are separating the hairs are separating and it will look horrible. We find silk is ideal, as it was used in medieval times as well. And on to the chips. Take about a meter's length. That bit will be used to go in between the fletchings. Get that in between into the small loop again. There. And tighten by pulling on to pulling the small thread again. There. One. Now, you can actually count the, rib the ridges of the fletching and create an opening with the needle. There. Count and open. And open. And open. And open. 
you know, all the way to the top. And the last bit. We'll glue this last bit here with a bit of super glue, finish the eind whipping, and it's all done. Don't be uh, frustrated with yourself if it doesn't look like you want it the first time, because it does take some practice. Good for a rainy Sunday afternoon. Now try the edge. Cut this off towards the shaft like we've done before. Don't cut through the thread. I will do the last bit. Our loop. Go around the first bit. Yes. Come on. the shaft so we can see what we're doing. And gently go over the last bit of the quill or pen as we call it. Big hands, thin threads, wonderful combination. Bit of varnish. Now the fancy bit of this arrow is this uh, whipping. I'm going with the thread in, through the feathers. The part of the uh, arrow that touches the bow, so that's in between the two feathers that are the same color usually. Make sure you apply plenty of glue, or varnish in this case, on the threads. Simply because it's going to wear on the bow, then the threads get damaged, and you end going through the, threads, the, the threads and uh, spoil all your nice work. That's not good. This will also secure the feathers since we glued it again with uh, super glue. This will make sure it all stays as it is right now. Here is the close up of the work we've just done. I think it's rather nice. Sure, you agree. Have fun trying this at home.